All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now, today I'm back with another collection tour. I'm picking up where I left off, and I'm going to show you some more of my Kenner Star Wars collection. So, let's get to it. The Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie in the trilogy, and I have two curios dedicated to um, the Kenner toys for The Empire Strikes Back. Here we have a lovely Kenner logo, a um, little sign that um, I picked up from a private seller. Had to stick this on the shelf. It's cold blue. It makes sense. And behind the sign is one of my Wampas. Absolutely love the Kenner Wampa toy. Such a great, um, great beast um, from the Kenner line. Definitely has one of the friendliest faces on Hoth, in my opinion. Uh, not too scary looking. He kind of, I don't know, he just... It's the Wampa. It's the Kenner Wampa. I love them. And of course, this is the uh, Probot and Turret playset. Turret and Probot playset. Um, awesome Hoth uh, playset that we were given by Kenner. The uh, Probot is an amazing little toy. Nice, nice uh, feature. It's almost an action figure of its own. Of course, it does have uh, the turret that Han Solo is uh, standing next to. Um, got Han there, Hoth Han with his blaster. We have a uh, Princess Leia, Hoth Princess Leia behind him, kind of just hanging out. And next to Han, we have a sensor scope R2-D2. And um, just, you know, just dressing this set up with some figures. And of course, you got to have Chewbacca. Chewbacca with his baby blues. Look at those eyes. Um, distracting the probot so Han can uh, blast him to bits, even though uh, I guess he does technically self-destruct. Um, but the, the probot is an awesome toy, powered by this little lever here. This is the action lever that, uh, um, I guess, has the uh, probot detonate. And, of course, we have um, Luke Skywalker, a Hoth Luke Skywalker on a Tauntaun. Doesn't really go in this scene, per se, with the probot, but where else could I stick... Uh, Hoth Luke on a Tauntaun. He, he, he looks good back there. So this is my one of my Hoth setups um, with the turret and probot playset. Cruising on down to the second shelf, we have the Kenner diecast snow speeder um, with a uh, presumably Luke uh, pilot, piloting the uh, snow speeder itself. I love the diecast toys. Here we have a Kenner collections catalog. I am an absolute fan of these uh, Kenner catalogs, so I had to stick one on this shelf. And this is perhaps one of my favorite vehicles in the entire line is the Snow Speeder, the Hoth Snow Speeder, identical to what we saw in the movie. Of course, I have an X-Wing Luke in there piloting um, the Snow Speeder. Just a beautiful, a beautiful toy. Um, one of my favorites. Love that it lights up. Each of these cannons lights up on either side. And next to that, we have a Rebel Trooper with a uh, backpack on him and a Bespin Blaster. Um, weird that he got a Bespin Blaster, but, you know, ask Kenner why. Um, we have a Rebel Commander with his uh, signature stash. You got to love that mustache. And behind them, we have one of the Hoth mini rigs. This is the MLC-3 mini rig. Um, Kenner made a couple of these mini rigs for Hoth. For the Empire Strikes Back line. So I've stuck that on the shelf because it is appropriate. Um, and over here in the corner, uh, we have some of the medical droids. We got 2-1-B uh, with his medical staff and, of course, FX-7. Both were instrumental in bringing Luke back to, uh, to life after his Wampa attack. And this is my uh, MOC, my FX-7 MOC uh, Empire Strikes Back figure, mint on card, unpunched, no less. Um, just a beautiful piece. Still has its original uh, Fred Meyer price tag, $1.78, you guys. I really wish we could go back to those prices. Um, but I love this MOC. FX7 is a great character and a great um, action figure from Kenner. So I had to pick this up, and he fits in nicely on this... Uh, Hoth shelf from my Empire Strikes Back uh, collection. The Empire Strikes Back is a big movie and a uh, few planets are visited. So in this uh, detolf I have Hoth and I also have Dagobah. This is a Kenner 
uh, Kenner Collection catalog. Um, just an awesome catalog. As I said before, I love these catalogs. And here we have the Battle Damage X-Wing. This is Luke's X-Wing, the second version. Of course, the original one was bone white, and Kenner opted for a more realistic gray color. It does have these Battle Damage stickers um, on it, which I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these Battle Damage stickers. They're on the ship for completion's sake. Um, but Luke's X-Wing never saw damage that like this that we saw in the film so it's weird that Kenner opted to give these stickers as an option but so be it. Um, this is of course a Bespin Luke complete with two accessories his blaster and his lightsaber. Uh, it's yellow. Thank you Kenner. I still never understand that one. Um, does have R2-D2 um, in the uh, body of the ship and there is the button which activates the laser light and sound which you're we are all familiar with as Kenner has uh, implemented into many of the toys in the Kenner line but this X-Wing is just an awesome ship I absolutely love it regardless of the battle damage stickers just a great toy um, something that got a lot of uh, action at playtime and behind that is the 1981 Yoda latex puppet this is the uh, hand puppet um, you can stick your hand in there and move Yoda's head and his hands and it makes sense because this is my Dagobah shelf this is one of the Dagobah shelves in my collection so only fitting that Master Yoda himself oversees Luke and his X-Wing it's kind of like the landing this is when then Luke I kind of look at this as when Luke lands on Dagobah so of course I stuck the puppet there and uh yeah i mean I, I love this shelf love the x-wing love the uh catalog and who doesn't love master yoda in any in any form and here we are on the bottom shelf of this detolf with master yoda uh on his home uh the dig of a playset such an awesome playset um i love the little yoda figure can never have too many of those I did stick this uh, blue lizard in there. It's obviously not Kenner made, um, but it just, I thought, why not? Uh, it kind of fits in there with the whole swamp scenario. Love that Yoda, as well as Luke, can fit into this uh, playset. It's very cool. This is, of course, the bog. Um, this is a uh, replacement foam. My foam had long since rotted out, so I did pick up a replacement foam, which fits and looks really nice in there. This is an extra crate I had. Um, one of the crates that comes in the playset. Luke, of course, uh, about to start some Jedi training. Very cool to uh, have a place for Luke to uh, hang out with Yoda. That is the uh, infamous R2 plug, the little cylinder that is often lost. Um, behind that are two, two more crates, as well as the backpack, the training backpack. And next to that is another lizard, another brown lizard, the only two non-Kenner things in this whole Detolf. Um, but again, they kind of add to the uh, swamp uh, motif here. And behind them is a card back. This is a Yoda Empire Strikes Back card back. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's Yoda. I love Yoda, one of my favorite characters. Um, it's kind of a placeholder. One day I will get uh, an MOC, a real deal. Uh, mint on card Yoda still in the package so it's my placeholder for now um, again guys I love the catalog so I had another one I stuck it in here great little uh, picture from the movie um, nice uh, Dagobah throwback and this is a, uh, a blaster this is actually not the Empire version this is the original Star Wars version I actually stuck my Empire Blaster on another shelf and I got this blaster and I needed a place to stick it and for whatever reason I stuck it in here. Um, but I thought it works because Luke does uh, pull his blaster out on Master Yoda when he first meets him when he, um, you know, when he gets to Dagobah. So I thought it uh, works well with the, uh, the shelf here. This is one of my favorite shelves in my collection. I love Dagobah and I love Yoda. So as I said before, this is one of the uh, two Detolfs I have uh, dedicated to Empire Strikes Back. Half of it is for Hoth, and the other half is for Dagobah. Um, I've done reviews on the Probot playset, the Snow Speeder, um, the Yoda puppet, and the Dagobah playset itself. So I will leave links in the description down below so you guys can check out those videos at your leisure. 
I'm really happy with this entire Detolf. Like I said, Empire is my favorite movie of the trilogy, and I, I love this Detolf. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please share it and give that like button a thumbs up because it greatly helps out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.